It has been a week of high spirits in the country with the Webb Ellis Trophy making a return on South African soil. Hello, I'm Spiso Zulu. This is Eyewitness News. Victoria Springboks received a thunderous welcome at Oar Tambo International Airport after spending seven weeks in France where they clinched the 2023 Rugby World Cup. For many, this day was a dream come true. Rising government spending and spiraling debt, Finance Minister Inoko Dongwana delivered his medium-term budget policy statement this week where he painted a grim picture of the country's finances. On electricity supply, we have experienced more power cuts in the year to September 23 than in the whole of 2023. However, over the medium term, additional generation capacity from renewable energy investment combined with the return of ESCOM's units that are out of service should ease power cuts. Our electricity system is undergoing an enormously positive transformation. We are reaping the fruits of our efforts to reform the electricity sector. The Commission of Inquiry into the Usindiso building fire has been postponed indefinitely because the venue they are using is a fire hazard. There are reportedly not enough emergency exits, insufficient fire safety measures, and the Commission itself exceeds the venue's capacity. The Commission was appointed to probe matters surrounding the deadly fire in the inner city that killed 77 people over two months ago. I regret to advise that today's proceedings have to be postponed because the Commission has been served with a notice by the city's emergency management services that the venue is not compliant with the bylaws of the city. The Commission is currently looking at securing a new venue for the proceedings. As soon as these have been secured, we will advise members of the public and the media. With the metric exams in full swing, managing stress and anxiety has come into sharp focus. The South African College and Applied Psychology has emphasized the importance of having plans to manage both studying and the emotional intensity of ending a school career. Zianda Kumalo says being prepared and having strategies in place helps matrix and their parents. Provide a stress-free study environment. Matrix students need comfortable, quiet spaces for studying at home that are largely free of distractions and other demands. Promote a balanced, healthy lifestyle. Parents need to enable healthy eating, regular study breaks, daily exercise and sufficient sleep. And hundreds of people have managed to leave war-torn Gaza via the Rafa border crossing with Egypt this week. It was finally open for foreign nationals and some dual citizens to cross almost a month since the deadliest escalation in violence between Israel and militants group Hamas. Officials in Palestine say over 300 foreign passport holders and 76 injured Palestinians have been able to leave so far. Israel has heavily bombarded Gaza since Hamas gunmen stormed across the border earlier this month, killing 1,400 people and kidnapping at least 240 others, according to Israeli officials. The health ministry in Hamas-run Gaza says nearly 8,800 people have been killed since the war with Israel erupted. And that's it from us this week. Remember to share, like and subscribe. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.